We had a bit of an incident filming this video, as you'll see shortly. The short of it? Never ever film a giant snake alone, especially a hungry one. Damn crazy snake, get your fat butt out of here. What does a giant anaconda feed on, you ask? When you're a man-eating sized mountain of muscle, anything you want. They prey on whatever they get their coils around, including wild pigs, deer, birds, and even powerful jaguars fall prey to this monstrous water boa. The anaconda is bigger around than a pig. Tremendous constricting power. She smells something. Fortunately for the pig, on this day, the giant serpent wasn't interested in pork. No, this snake was hungry for something else. Need to keep the door closed. Remember when I said anacondas feed on birds? The anaconda's in the chicken coop again. Wait, Damn, crazy snake, get your <gasps> fat butt out of here. Oh my, god, oh my, oh my god. god, you better not bite me. Oh my gosh. Hurry up, hurry I up. I need your help. Quick, get hurry this up. snake out of here. Get this MF snake, the MF out of here. Oh my no, god. No, no, no. Oh my god. god. No, no, no. Oh my god, get it off, get it off. Great. Just great. She smells chicken, the other white meat. She's not in the mood for a pig. The anaconda is slithering to the other side of the compound, to where the free-range chickens are. We made three mistakes. One, the camera person is alone. Two, door to the chicken coop should not have ever been left open. And three, and most important, never ever interfere with a giant hungry constrictor from feeding by yourself. A recipe for disaster. When giant constrictors are in prey drive, it's wise to give them a very wide berth. Do not interfere between an anaconda and her prey. We use this video as part of a university master's thesis on the feeding behavior of a large constrictor in an open natural setting. This is a snake's natural feeding response given free will and opportunity in an open, free-range environment. The anaconda declined to feed her pig of much greater caloric resource in favor of a free-range chicken with considerably less so. This lends us to believe caloric density isn't the only drive. Nutrients over calories. The chicken offers proteins and or essential amino acids. It doesn't take long for the snake to engulf its little meal. Look at that cute snoot. Don't you just want to boop it? Having satisfied what it came for, the giant slippery tube dude slithers out the way it came. The anaconda is also known as a big thick boy. Also known as a nope nope. Like a thief in the night, the snake boy crosses the compound, passes the pig, and enters its domain to digest its tiny meal. Thank you for watching this season of Reptile Channel, a channel that focuses on the science of reptile behavior, both snakes and lizards. As always, we love answering questions about reptiles, so please comment below. We'll try to answer them. And subscribe so you can keep up on our adventures. Please subscribe.